this is the demonstration video for repacking the scrubber with Poseidon Rebreather. We start off by unscrewing the nut and make sure to not lose the spring on the nut. We take off the top, top lid. We also make sure that we don't lose the top shrim. We take something to pour the softener line that is used <coughs> into. So we make sure also not to breathe in the dust that comes out from this. You can see the dust. When we are outside, the wind will blow away the dust, but if we are inside, we need to have a breathing mask to protect our lungs from not breathing in the dust that comes from softener line. Now we have an empty canister. We have the black plastic um, knob that we have placed in the middle between the top and the bottom. This plastic knob will distribute gas out through the softener line so there will be no channeling along the thread. So we take the softener line 797 which is the only softener line or the only material that is compatible with the Poseidon rebreathers. Don't use anything else. We start off by pouring in one third and once again avoid breathing in the dust. Once we have one third inside we will take the canister and we will shake it. And you should shake it for one to two minutes. Perfect. It's three fills and two minutes per fill. And after you have shaken it for two minutes, we take the second, third, pour it in. And the tapping we are doing is because we want the grains to fall into place. So it's packed as much as possible. We don't want any channeling in the material inside. And since this is a demonstration video <coughs> and you don't want to see me tapping around here for two minutes on each fill, you should do it for two minutes. We top up the last one third, or the third third, and we top it to the height of the threaded rod. Carefully, we shake it, we tap it, we shake it, turn it. This turning and tapping is actually distributing the material even. If you tap it on one side, standing on the table, you will see that you will get a ski slope on top of the material. If you want to, you can actually top up a little bit more. You should be able, when you put the top lid on, you should be have that top lid uh, just right under the ridge here and that ridge is the ridge where we put the black top part of the rebreather with the open. So now we have packed the canister with the material. We take the top trim and we place it here. We make sure that it covers the material. We can feel that it's even. We take the metal lid, push it down, make sure that it goes under the ridge. We put on the spring and the nut. And then to make sure that everything is okay, we are now using the spring, the load of the spring, to push down the lid, the, the top lid. At the same time, we are shaking it once more. To make sure there is no channeling inside. Push it and we also tighten the nut. So we are using the spring load of pushing down the top lid. And now we have a last confirmation that we have no channeling inside the canister. We take the canister and we shake it. 
and we can hear no rattling noise. This means that the material is tight packed and everything is good to go. So safe dive for you guys and uh, take care.